There are many types of valves sold on the market. Do you know why you should choose a ball valve? Ball valves are, take a leading role in the valve industry as the scope of application is enormous. The quarter turn valve control makes it easy to operate and requires very less maintenance. The ball valve is an inexpensive alternative to other valves. Hello guys, my name is Han and today I'm going to share some knowledge about ball valves. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We will keep you updated with more videos about product sharing. Ball valve, also known as a shut-off valve, is an equipment to allow and control flow. It allows maximum flow capacity with minimum pressure drop. Low pressure ball valves are mainly used for critical applications with demanding requirements. They are highly used for the smooth transfer of water, oil and gas systems. We have a few variety of ball valves and here we're going to talk about what they do and how do they work. A ball valve uses a metal ball to control the flow of liquids or gases. That is the simple reason why we call it a ball valve. There are low and high pressure ball valves where different industries use different valves depending on their working pressure requirements. Now let's see how a ball valve actually works. Okay, as the ball is rotated till it is fully open, the valve provides the true conduit or full ball required for unrestricted flow with the fluids and scrapers or picks. Compared with a gate valve, a ball valve has very little resistance to flow in the fully open position. A ball valve requires a one-quarter turn of the hand wheel to go from fully open to the fully closed position. Such quick opening and closing of a ball valve may be of importance in some installations where pipe sections need to be isolated quickly in the event of emergency. Also used in many hydrocarbon process applications, ball valves are capable of throttling gases and vapors and are especially used for low flow situations. Okay, so what is the difference between a one-piece, two-piece and three-piece ball valve? So here, we have one-piece, two-piece and three-piece ball valve samples. Now, a one-piece ball valve is a reduced ball. The valve has a body and an end connection formed from a single piece of material. This construction prevents leakages from the system. Now, a two-piece ball valve is commonly known as a standard ball. A full ball ball valve has an oversized ball which makes the size of the hole in the ball the same as the pipeline applications. Now moving on to the three-piece ball valve. It includes two end caps and a body. Ball valves with this construction are specifically designed to separate the connection portions of the valve assembly from the rest of the body of the valve. It can prevent a line shutdown if maintenance is required. Alright, so now what is the proper way to actually install a ball valve? Now, the installation plays a key role as improper installation may damage the valve and lead to the malfunction of the lead fluid control systems. Now, before installing a ball valve, step one, you need to clean and remove all kinds of objects from the pipes. Make sure that the connecting pipes on both sides of the valve are properly aligned. And step three, ensure that both sections of the pipe match as the ball valve unit cannot absorb any gaps. Any kind of distortion in pipes can impact the tightness of the connection and the functioning of the valve and can also in result in a rupture of your system. Now step 4, in case the sections of piping do not have proper support in place, they should be temporarily fixed to avoid unnecessary strain on the ball valve. Step number 5, apply thread sealant when making up connections. And lastly step 6, double check the tightness of the connection to ensure high performance of the valve. Now, in conclusion, ball valves are generally used valves as it has high durability, simple to use, and are very affordable. It offers a long service life and will provide many years of reliable use. And when used under the right conditions, it is excellent in chemical applications, including the most challenging services such as dry chlorine, hydrofluoric acid, and oxygen. Now, when considering a ball valve, you have to know about the disadvantages of the ball valve. It has limited throttling characteristics and is prone to cavitation. It is not suitable for slurry applications due to cavities around the ball and seats. Slurries tend to solidify or clog inside the cavities, greatly increasing the operating torque of the valve. That's all for now for ball valves. 
And again, if you like our video, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment if you have, want to watch any other product sharing and I'll see you in the next video.